Hello, I'm Gwen Young, Director of the Global Women's Leadership Initiative and the Women in Public Service Project at the Wilson Center. You're watching Women on the Move, stories of women on the move, what motivates them, how they got to where they are, and how they're going to change the world. Today we're hearing from Hadil Ibrahim, Executive Director of the Mo Ibrahim Foundation. I, I had always wanted to work in African development and it was a strange kind of confluence. Um, I'd spent a bit of time learning about private equity, Africa private equity, and decided that that wasn't for me um, at almost exactly the same moment that my father wanted to set up a foundation. It's still an extraordinary act of faith for a African in a leadership position like my father to invest their legacy in their daughter. And as a 22-year-old, to be entrusted with that and the building of this legacy institution, this foundation, was a great privilege. And I think, I hope, um, I hope that I delivered. And I hope that I did a good enough job that other people would consider doing the same with their daughters. There were many times where I would go into meetings with a male colleague and whoever I was meeting with would just address themselves to the man sitting next to me who would then turn to me. And we'd have these strange triangular conversations where, and you just think, why, why, why just not talk to me? Why, why do we have to be mediated by this man because he's a bit older than me and you assume that's where power resides? You know, being underestimated, it's an opportunity. And uh, I would encourage other young women to fight against that, but also use that to their advantage. Persistence. I think it's challenge. It's difficult to do big things, challenging things, and it's a real grind, and you have to be willing to stay with it, and to grind, and to work, and sometimes just to tire people out until they say yes. There is an extraordinary young generation of African women that is emerging. Um, when you look at the Mobrin Foundation's fellowship programs, our high-level fellows, of which there are three every year, I think for three or four consecutive years, the best candidates are women, and all of those are women on the move. So I think there's, um, there's an extraordinary generation of young women emerging, coming to the foreground, and I think that's one of the real beacons of light and hope when I look at the African landscape. Inevitably, I, I would surprise my father because we worked very closely together. But I would also say the board of our foundation, the prize committee, are an extraordinary group of people. And without exception, over the past decade, they've mentored me. They are all extraordinary leaders. And one of the marks maybe of their great leadership is the investment all of them make in young people and when they walk into a room of a reception or some kind of public event I'm struck by how much those kinds of leaders will always gravitate to the youngest person in the room they're not looking for the most powerful or the most influential they'll find the young person and they'll sit and they'll engage them and they ask them questions and and build that kind of intergenerational dialogue that's so sorely needed Being around people of that caliber makes you raise your game. So I wouldn't even say it was the giving of advice, it was more the setting an example of how to be in the world, how to make change in the world. And it begins with excellence. 